What's interesting about the Al-Muahidun is that the Ash'ari. So once again, within Islam, sometimes you see, and I'm, I'm really sorry to say this, but you find this within especially Sufi circles, the idea that, oh, you know, all of the extremism, it's almost as if they've adopted somewhat of a right-wing narrative themselves because they want to scapegoat. It's, ever, it's all about scapegoating, isn't it? So, okay, uh, we accept that there's extremism, but it's all about Wahhabis. But before Wahhabism, this Muhadun were there. <laughs> you can't, you can't say anything about Wahhab because this was before Muhammad Muhammad al Wahhab, and this was before the existence of any Saudi state. You had people who were extremists in their tendencies, extremists in their behavior, intolerant in their behaviors. You can't scapegoat all your problems on Muhammad ibn Abdul Wahhab and his Adba and his uh, followers. No doubt his followers committed some egregious problems. And I'm not saying anything, but we're saying this is a convenient scapegoat. Because why? Because there's a, I'll be honest with you, there's an intra-polemical dispute with, between creedal schools, Ash'ari versus Athari versus Hanbali versus Maturidi, and they use this as some kind of leverage, as some kind of ideological um, Hezbi leverage. Oh, all of the problems is because of the Salafis, or it's because of the Wahhabis. No, it's not true, because you had Ash'aris who were very, very harsh as well, and the Muahidun are examples of that, killing people, yes, all of the same stuff that you're seeing. And so we have to be fair. There have been people from all groups, Sufis, and we're going to we'll talk about them a bit, a bit today. Brelvis. You think Brelvis, in, in, uh, we were talking before about Pakistan and how some Brelvis, they commit some major egregious problems and uh, make takfir on mass. I went to Hajj and they were saying, we're not going to pray behind the Imam. He's a kafir. It's a Wahhabi kafir. <laughs> uh, tell me if this is not takfir. So well, Brelvis have become Salafis all of a sudden. No, no. They, they also make takfir. And sometimes they try and shoot people and kill people and, and fight people. Yes, sometimes it happens. Not all Brelvis, of course not. Not all Salafis, of course not. Not all Ash'aris, of course not. But that exists. Because it's, all you need to do is make an argument. You start with takfir and then you move on to these guys are combatants or against Islam. And then you end up with actual bloodshed. And what we're saying is that we need to take control of these narratives.